Are you ready for a mobility scooter that is nothing like you've ever seen before? A mobility scooter that has the amenities of a car, but the convenience of a scooter. A mobility scooter that will turn heads and get you where you need to go in style. Introducing the new E-Wheels EW54. What the hell did I just watch? Hello, Imaginate Internet friends. I'm Mild Kratz. Let's talk about the E-Wheels EW54 electric mobility scooter and why I think it's not only a dumb but a dangerous product. Um, so this thing, if if you're curious, uh, for those of you that are that are clicking on this because you think it's a, a great product, maybe it is for you. I don't want to disparage anyone who's differently abled or would need access to a mobility scooter, but I might kind of question why you need access to something like this that looks like a police meter made vehicle uh, that's got like a big sneeze guard on it. Something this extravagant in a way. Um, if you're looking to buy this product though, I think it's somewhere around $3,500. Can be ordered on Amazon, though it's not prime shipping. Sorry, you'll have to pay for that as well. Um, <laughs> it comes in three colors, to my knowledge. I think it was uh, red, as we've seen, blue, and green. So you've got options. That's good. Um, let's talk about why this is maybe kind of a dumb product. I mean, maybe the product itself isn't dumb, but I think what it will do is empower people who are dumb to do things that are already discourteous to other people. Um, I think you'll be seeing someone driving something around like this in a big box store, maybe like the one that I've got behind me here. And a person who's already particularly obnoxious now being given the power of a three speaker radio, I think is one thing that's on here. Um, <laughs> and gosh, well, I mean, there's, there's some different cool things about this. If you actually watch the video, Ways to like charge your phone and things that are like accessory to normal mobility scooters. So great. Uh, maybe that explains why it's as much as like, you know, a five year old used car. But man, it's it's just the ter the terrifying thing to me. Let's get let's talk about that. I guess um, this thing <laughs> is capable of speeds apparently of up to between fifteen and twenty miles per hour, and I think it's. It's done between three different drive settings, which I, the more I talk, the more I, I understand that it seems like I've done an unnecessary amount of research on this product, and that's probably bad. That probably reflects poorly on me, and that's fine. But I want you to think about the last time you were at Walmart and you saw someone in a mobility scooter. Um, was this a person you would trust if you were forced to, under any circumstance, enter a Walmart in the first place? I know that, like, that's kind of a... Um, considered a low class thing to do to begin with but if you're if you're forced to go into a walmart and you have a kid with you do you like the idea of someone being able to take this basically what's a small car and possibly run over your child or run into them at speeds of 15 to 20 miles per hour uh probably not i i mean i'm i'm not a parent but i think i would empathize with those that maybe would and say that's concerning to me, especially because, I mean, I know it maybe it is an unfair stereotype, but people I've seen using mobility scooters, I don't trust to not be particularly distracted or on the ball and that sort of thing. And again, um, that's me profiling. I'm not saying there's no, there's no point or purpose for something like this. Well, I think for something this extravagant, there probably is no point or purpose, but anyway, um, that's at least part of my qualm for this sort of thing. It's it's a four nearly four grand price tag, which is something else that's kind of uh, disconcerting. And a, among the particular selling points on this is that the weight capacity on it is up to five hundred pounds, um, which is kind of like I don't know. I'm I'm an overweight individual. I'm pushing three hundred pounds on the scale. Uh, not afraid to admit that, but I think if I if I gain any more amount of weight. I might be conceding to my own defeat to using something like this um, based on, you know, laziness, pain, whatever. But I think that this is accommodating to people who are already stepping in the wrong direction. And not in every case, again, obviously. But it's, it's just a dangerous walk down a slippery slope. Um, and I think also with this thing being able to approach speeds of 15 to 20 miles per hour, 
I am concerned because I've already seen things like this happen with the other the other market for this for besides people who don't like to walk would be um I mean obviously people with difficulties walking that includes the elderly and <laughs> I had footage of someone going through, and this is probably four or five years ago, someone going through a drive through and something not too dissimilar to this. It was actually a little bit bigger, um, kind of looked more like a gator almost, but an older person going through a drive through and something like this. And it concerns me that someone might consider this like a, uh, a road worthy vehicle and like end up taking this on roadways. And I don't trust everyone who would buy this piece of equipment not to make that judgment to say, should I go on a street or not with this sort of thing? Especially because there are other videos you can watch, maybe I'll link to them, where you can watch people kind of taking these on the roads, uh, one of which including a promotional material for this that includes apparently an MMA fighter, and he's interested in purchasing this. And that video is particularly kind of fun anyway. But yeah, I, I don't think this is something that you should be taking on the roads. And then, I, I don't know, but then it also addresses who is this really for, because otherwise you have a person <laughs> with mobility issues who's not going to be able to like load this into a truck or whatever. And I've got a, a simulation, I guess we'll show you of, of like, yeah, what is this person's like loading this truck going to look like? We'll go ahead and play that. Be like, oh, let me, let me get this in. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, um, I don't see how that's going to work. I think this is an is a <laughs> this is an ill created, ill advised, poorly concepted vehicle. I'm not sure why it exists, um, but I'm open to suggestion. If you <laughs> leave down in the comments, whether you think there are any merits to things like this, if you think this is a dangerous territory like I do, where we are promoting the idea that uh, we should only all be as comfortable as we want to, and this sort of thing, I for me. I've worked as a cashier in like a big box store, not this one particularly behind me, but one that's similar, um, you would say is like slightly more prestigious. If that means anything. And it doesn't, I just imagine the person who's going to have to deal with someone coming through their check lane in, in some kind of, I don't know, apparatus vehicle like this and just having to try and contain their laughter. I think they might end up kind of in that process, you know, starting the growth of a tumor or something uh waiting for that person to leave the store when they will laugh at them by the way yeah uh, i know that that's not like the pc thing to do and we're trying to advance as a culture but i think if you go through a check lane in one of these you deserve to be laughed at i would put myself in that same category um there are mostly just because there are other alternatives that are slightly more dignified already offered to you <laughs> uh i do like that this this and other models that I've seen that are kind of like these luxury scooters, I, I hope this isn't going to become like a burgeoning industry, but I feel like it might be, have radios, they have Bluetooth speakers, and but mostly th they have uh, the mirrors, like the, the mirrors for looking behind you, the, the side mirrors and everything. That, every time I see that and focus on that, it makes me laugh a little bit. And I keep looking over to the left here. I'm, I'm actually just kind of like looking at this vehicle, who's kind of inspire some things as I'm looking at it like the the particularly like styled alloy five five spoke rims another thing to me is kind of funny trying to trying to bridge the gap between this being like a smart car and this being the kind of car that no one who is smart would find themselves in anyway I've given my thoughts on this at this point go ahead and give yours down in the comments below if you enjoy this video uh go ahead and give it a like um if you enjoy me subscribe to my channel hopefully I'll be making more videos in the coming, you know, few weeks, days, something like that. I'd like to continue on products that I find maybe problematic, stupid, or otherwise ill-advised. If you think that's a good idea, leave that comment. So anyway, uh, I've been Mild Kratz. I will see you next time. I am a real American. Fight for the